For those of you uninitiated to the Notion cult, it is a note-taking mastermind of an application with a user base full of productivity gurus who will one day take over the world with their efficiency. And I also love it to death. It's basically combined every note-taking application for me from Apple Notes, Evernote, OneNote, basically any text note-taking application, it's completely eradicated. And even better, they're releasing an update soon that supports drawing, so you already know in like a couple of months, it might even take on Good Notes and Notability, which are the two biggest handwritten note-taking apps for the iPad Pro. I was actually put onto this app from one of my friends and it sent me down a complete rabbit hole of YouTube videos on how everybody sets up their Notion notebooks and their different organizational skills and it's just beautiful. For anyone who is even remotely into productivity and loves keeping logs or just diaries or journals or anything that organizes your life for you, this app is the only one you will ever need. But more specifically in this video, I wanted to show you how I set up my YouTube system on Notion, which basically tracks from beginning to end the entire creative process for me for filming, editing, and uploading these YouTube videos. And I was actually thinking whether or not I want to show you one made completely from scratch or show you the one that I already made. So I just decided to do both. So <laughs> let's just jump right into it. Now, I want to be recording this video on my iPad because my God, this device is just amazing. Anyway, let's just just jump right into Notion. Now, when I go into Notion, I get greeted into my two different categories, which is my personal category and my YouTube category that I accidentally just clicked on. This video is about YouTube specifically. Maybe I'll make a video on how I organize my personal stuff, but that's not for this video. And as you can see under my YouTube stuff, I have video tracking, notebook, what, what, is, what is that? Subscribe now? That's, that's kind of weird. Let's, let's click on, oh. Guys, that's that's so crazy. I guess you have to listen to the Notion gods and subscribe. I mean, look at it. It's it's telling you to do so. Anyways, let's just get rid of that one. Here you're gonna see my two sections of YouTube. The system I set up known as video tracking and a notebook where I just jot down notes or ideas for videos in the future. And before we jump into video tracking, which is the key to this video, let's just check out the notebook section. And as you can see, this is a very bare bones system. I don't like complicating my notebook replacements because I like to keep it as close to a regular notebook as I can, but Let's just skip that for now and let's jump in to the magic, which is video tracking. And as you can see here, I split up my sections into different parameters, which is preparation, scripting, ready to film. If you just swipe over. Actually, let's, let's get rid of this side panel for now. Editing, completed, trash but completed, and trash, which are the videos that I either never made or I finished but never actually uploaded to the video. So, sorry guys. So the way this works is as soon as I come up with a video idea that I know I'm gonna make a video about, it'll go in the preparation section. So I know exactly what to expect when I get in the zone to make a video. And actually, the second magic of this whole thing is when we do just that. So let's just jump right into preparation. And on this page, you can see that it asked me to continue with either an empty page or choose the script template, which is a template that I created. So we're gonna click on the script template. Now, I actually customized this page to make my thought process very, very streamlined for how it works for me. It starts out with a description, which is just a short summary of what the video is going to be about. And if there's talking points, these go in there to make it easier. So when I start scripting, I already know exactly what I'm gonna be scripting about. Next is the background research tab. And this is obvious, it leads to a separate page designated for pulling information. And usually I just do an empty page here because I just want to you know, jot down as a regular text editor. But it's basically just for pulling information from online and citing web pages if the video making is way, way out of my mental capacity. And next is actually a list of shots. And this does not happen usually until the rough cut of the video is edited since I usually can't tell where I'd need B-roll without visually inspecting the raw footage. So I leave this blank until pretty much at the very, very end. And lastly is the actual script system. And for me, I read this somewhere and I've been doing it ever since. I split it up into something called HIC, which is just, <laughs> sounded so weird. H-I-C-C, uh, -C, which is just hook, intro, content, and closing. The hook for me is usually the first two sentences that explain what the video is about, or it gives something that makes people want to stick around. This is like high school essay writing stuff here, which I was completely horrible at, by the way. And the other three are kind of obvious. Basically, the whole point of this video tracking sheet is to make sure the creative process is so much easier for me. And I actually say that somewhere, I think. Yeah, look at that. Tracking YouTube videos through each phase of the creative process. So there you go. It's a lot easier to visualize what I have in store since this is just a hobby for me. And frankly, I don't spend a ton of time each week working on it. So it's easy for me to just forget what I had planned for the, for the week ahead of me. Every single step here is very, very important for getting to the completed stage. Like preparation, 100%, you need to prepare for what you're gonna make. Scripting, not every YouTuber scripts their videos, but for the type of content that I create, or at least most of it, I do like to script it because I have a lot of specific points that I wanna get to, or just remember the things that I do so I can explain it better. And the ready to film section, 
Uh, this is just where I know what, when I turn on my camera, what I'm gonna film. And if we click here, this is basically what it looks like when it's completely done. I mean, this is my entire script for the video. I do write it all out so I don't forget, I don't stumble on my words. Ultimately, right now, I'm working on just one video a week, but if I were to jump it up to two videos a week, I can see this being so, so beneficial for making sure that I am on top of everything that I'm creating. The one thing that this sheet lacks for me currently is if I wanted to put down a B-roll somewhere. So for example, iPad shot of me on Notion, which is this entire video. It's hard for me to identify where this fits into the script. So maybe I'll come up with a solution for that in the future. But as of now, I do this when I'm editing and I use markers on Adobe Premiere. It just works for me. I wish I could do it on here, but my brain just doesn't work that way and I can't figure out a way to optimally do it. By the way, B-roll is footage that goes over the main shot of the video for those of you that don't know, kind of like what you're seeing right now. And what this means is if I need to go to a park to shoot B-roll or need to film myself eating during a certain part of the video, it's difficult to track that in this sheet specifically. Also, one thing I like about this is it automatically keeps a log of all my old scripts which I don't think I'm ever gonna need to go through, but it's there if I ever need it for some reason. And now that I showed you the completed version, let me just go through making it completely from scratch and you'll see just how easy this is. Let's just begin by clicking add a new page, which you could just do here and page. On this page here, you're gonna see that Notion suggests a whole bunch of pre-made options you could choose from, like I'm talking a whole bunch. And for me, under the design section, you're gonna see roadmap. And if we just click that there, you can see that it literally did all the hard work for my roadmap for my YouTube videos for you. So we could just click use and it'll set that up on a new page for us. And usually what I do is I'll just change the title. We could just make it YouTube videos. Uh, I found an icon on Google, I'm not gonna find that now. So let's just, that looks pretty good. And all you have to do from this point on is just set up the columns like we did before. So not started for us is preparation in progress is scripting, complete is ready to film, and it just goes on and on. You could just click plus to add a new column right there. Now, let's say we wanna make a new video and we wanna put it under preparation. When you click on new, you could see that it gives you a whole ton of properties that I think are useless for just recording YouTube videos. So usually what I do is I'll click on them and I'll just click delete property on each of them and I'll go through the whole thing. And this saves by the way. So if you delete the properties on this page, it'll delete the properties on every page. And finally, the last step, which where it asks you to either create an empty page or pick a template. This is where I made my scripting template. So you could delete all these ones that you don't really care about. And you can just click create a template here and you can make your template as we showed before. So I had my description, my list of shots and my hook intro, whatever, with some background research. So my mic just totally cut out at the end there. Uh, it's kind of complaining it was low on battery the whole time, but it's fine. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider leaving it a like and consider subscribing if you enjoyed, and maybe I'll make more Notion videos in the future. I actually find these really fun to make, and I use Notion, so it's sort of like a win-win for everybody. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.